Hi, I am Ravi Kumar. In this video, we will see the ASK modulation, amplitude shift keying modulation, which is one type of digital modulation technique. And we will see what is the bandwidth required for the amplitude shift keyed signal to transmit it over the channel. So, first of all, we will see what is the definition or meaning of amplitude shift keying. Amplitude shift keying is a digital modulation techniques wherein in digital modulation we will use the digital message signal and analog carrier signal here observe here the message signal is digital 1010 like this so the message signal is digital in terms of binary and the carriers here is the analog signal here ac cos 2 pi fct where ac is the amplitude of the uh, cos wave or carrier and fc is the carrier frequency here now the ASK that is amplitude shift keying signal is obtained by just transmitting when the message signal is 1 we are going to transmit the carrier wave as it is in that period. So this is the bit duration 0 to TB it is the TB is the bit duration and if no message signal is there then we are not transmitting anything in the duration. So this signal that is this ASK signal is obtained by just multiplying this message signal with carrier that is if you multiply this one with this one up to 0 to TB up to 1 then 1 into this AC cos 2 pi FCT will transmit AC cos 2 pi FCT during this period and if no message signal is there then 0 into something is nothing but 0 here for this period. So that is the ASK signal is just generated by multiplying the message signal with carrier. So that is why here generation or modulation of ASK signal is obtained by just multiplying the message signal with the carrier AC cos 2 pi FCT will get the ASK signal. This ASK signal is nothing but if the bit message bit is 1 then the output is AC cos 2 pi FCT. Why because if the message signal is 1 then it is just multiplying with the AC cos 2 pi FCT will get AC cos 2 pi FCT we are transmitting here. If bit is 0 if bit is 0 then message bit is 0 then 0 into something is 0. So we are transmitting 0 here. So the ASK signal is mathematically represented as AC cos 2 pi FCT we are transmitting for bit 1 and 0 for bit 0 sir that is if message signal is 1 if message bit is 1 it is AC cos 2 pi FCT we are transmitting if message is 0 we are transmitting 0 here. So that is in the channel what we are transmitting actually the modulated signal ASK modulated signal that is nothing but we are transmitting AC cos 2 pi FCT or 0 we are transmitting. Now in the receiver after receiving the signal the receiver receives AC cos 2 pi FCT or 0. Now after receiving this AC cos 2 pi FCT and 0, it has to decode the actual information what is the message signal here. So that is why here in the demodulation the circuit is multiplying the received signal with the AC cos 2 pi FCT again and passing through low pass filter you will get some voltage value. This voltage value decides whether this is 1 or 0. Observe here, suppose message 1 we have transmitted here. So this 1 is multiplied with AC cos 2 pi FCT. See that is output is here AC cos 2 pi FCT we are transmitting. That is actually bit 1 is transmitting. After transmitting this one bit 1 and after receiving to the receiver, the receiver does what the receiver does is he will multiply the signal with AC cos 2 pi FCT again in the demodulation. Now we will get AC cos 2 pi FCT into AC cos 2 pi FCT AC square cos square 2 pi FCT. Here we can write cos square theta as 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 that is 1 plus cos 4 pi fc by 2. Here by assuming this thing this term we have it contains two terms ac square by 2 plus ac square by 2 cos 4 pi fct terms. Here ac square by 2 is a constant which is a dc term which is of zero frequency whereas ac square by 2 into cos 4 pi fct is a cosine term having frequency fc. Now what we are doing here we are passing this first signal to low pass filter then this low pass filter allows only the low frequencies that is AC square by 2 only it will allows. This FC is the 4 FC is the high frequency that is why this term AC square by 2 cos 4 by FCT does not allowed by the low pass filter so that is why AC square by 2 will be, will be sent as output. If there is some voltage then the receiver should understood that the message sent was 1. Suppose now message is 0 let us consider 0 into something is 0. So 0 is received by the receiver. So this 0 is multiplied with the AC cos 2 pi FCT in the receiver and demodulated the signal passing through low pass filter the output is 0 here. Output is 0 means the receiver is itself 
assumes that the message sent was zero here. So like this, we are able to decode the ones and zeros in the demodulation. Now we will see what is the bandwidth required for this one. So that is to transmit this amplitude shift keyed signal, that is modulated signal, how much bandwidth the channel should require. So for that one, understand this one, the ASK signal is generated just by multiplying the message signal ones and zeros. Ones and zeros are nothing but the some triangle, uh, some rectangle pulse here, some rectangle pulse here of duration TV duration is multiplied with the AC cos 2 pi FCT. Remember this point, we will find out the equation for bandwidth now. You know that one, if G of T for a transform is G of F, then if you multiply this G of T with some AC cos 2 pi FCT, then the Fourier transform of that one is nothing but the G of F spectrum shifted at plus FC and shifted at minus FC. You know this one. This is the frequency shifting property. That is, if message signal let us consider is uh, this one. Message signal for a transform is let us consider G of F. Here, what is the message signal here? Message signal is a rectangular signal. Rectangular signal, the Fourier transform of the rectangle is sync. And that this is that is this rectangle either 1 or 0 is multiplied with AC cos 2 pi FCT. What will happen to the Fourier spectrum of the resultant? It is nothing but the same G of F, that is the same message signal spectrum, but that is shifting at plus FC and minus FC. So that is this sync is going to be shifting at plus FC and minus FC. Why? Because this sync is nothing but the Fourier transform of the message pattern 1 for 1 rectangle pulse 1, the Fourier transform is sync. So that's why this sync is going to be shifted to plus FC and minus FC. So sync pulse is shifted to plus FC and minus FC. This one is minus FC. So, <clears throat> observe here, this is a rectangle pulse of duration TB duration, TB. So then the sync function is, here it is 1 by TB and it is 1 by TB, that is you know this one. Or else, remember this one, so 0 to TB duration, if it is TB duration pulse, then the Fourier transform of that one is a sync pulse, where this one is the 1 by TB and this one is minus 1 by TB. Now what we are doing here, if we multiply this one with cos 2 pi FCT, then this pulse is going to shift into plus FC and minus FC. That is, this 1 by TB is shifting to plus FC, right? And this minus 1 by TB is also shifting to plus FC. So that is, FC plus TB will get this one, and this one FC minus TB. So this total center thing is going to shift into FC. Similarly here, minus FC here, this is minus FC, minus FC plus 1 by TB, this one, this is minus FC minus 1 by TB. So this is just the mirror image of this one, right? Just mathematical representation, we are taking this one. Now, now what is the bandwidth here? What is the range of frequencies that it should require to get the, or to transmit the ASK signal over the communication channel? So the bandwidth, nothing, bandwidth is nothing but the difference between the maximum frequency and the minimum frequency. Here FC plus 1 by TV is the maximum frequency and FC minus 1 by TV is the minimum frequency. So FC plus 1 by TV minus FC minus of minus 1 by TV. So 1 by TV plus 1 by TV will get FC FC getting cancelled here. So it is nothing but 2 by TV is the difference here, this difference. See that is 2 by TV bandwidth is required to transmit this ASK signal. Why? Because this ASK signal contains 2 by TV frequency. So the channel should require 2 by TB bandwidth to transmit this ASK signal. Thank you.